question 31 may be quite confusing for some of you because question 31 is a man and an environment question which is a topic which will only be taught in P6. However, Henry Park has decided to bring this topic down to the P5 level. So I will try my best to explain this to you in the simplest way possible. Okay, let's look at the question first. The picture below shows a river flowing down the stream towards the sea. Situated near the river is a factory and a farm. Okay, so factories, when they run their machines, sometimes they will throw away this waste that they have and then they dump it into the river. At times, through their chimneys, they release poisonous gases. Okay, how about farms? What do farms do? When they use excessive amounts of fertilizers or insecticides, some of these chemicals will seep into the soil and when it rains, the water mixed with the chemicals from the soil will get washed into the river, causing pollution as well. Okay, so James put six fish into each sample of the water that's collected at P, Q and R. So we must take note of the direction of the river flow. It is flowing downstream. So if you look at P, it has yet to pass through the farm and the factory. So Q is where the farm and the factory is placed at. And then R is the water after the farm and the factory. Let us look at the information given. After three days, James recorded his observations and he, that he has made. Based on the information given, which part of the river is the least polluted? So if you're looking at least pollution, you're looking at the water sample where it did not affect the fish because it is likely that the fishes died due to the pollution that came from the farm and the factories. So based on this, based on the information given, I will choose point P because none of the fishes die. So Following our CUE method of writing, so C stands for choose, U stands for use the data, which is the evidence in the question, and E is the explanation. This is how we would phrase our answer. I'm going to choose point P. Using the data means using whatever that they have given us in the question. So none of the fish died at point P. Now we will attempt to explain. So this shows that the water had not been polluted by the factory and the farm and there were no harmful substances in the water that affected the fish and therefore it survived. Okay, let's look at part B of the question. Some farmers clear forests by burning down trees. Explain how the loss of trees lead to global warming. So in order for us to understand global warming, we must understand what are the causes of global warming and one of the key causes is actually greenhouse gases. One major greenhouse gas that we always talk about is carbon dioxide. So how is this linked to trees? Okay, first of all, when trees are cut down, there will be less trees to take in carbon dioxide from the surrounding air for photosynthesis to make food, which means that there will be more carbon dioxide left in the surrounding air that will accumulate. Okay, so that's how carbon dioxide increases. The other thing is that when you burn the trees, the action of burning the trees causes a lot of carbon dioxide to be released into the environment. So when there's more carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, then more heat from the sun will be trapped by these greenhouse gases and this will lead to global warming. So here is how I would phrase my answer. You either talk about less trees to take in carbon dioxide, so more carbon dioxide accumulates in the surrounding air, or you talk about the, direct, the burning of trees directly releasing the carbon dioxide. So both explanations will be possible. In this case, I just talk about less trees to take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis to make food. So there will be more carbon dioxide, and you must make sure you specify which is a greenhouse gas, right? and it will trap more heat from the sun that leads to global warming okay so that's for question 31 thank you for watching this video if you like my discussions please hit on the subscribe button below if you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper please click on the videos on the right so thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next one